Welcome friends, we're talking about the power of our words, we're talking about aligning our speaking to what God speaks um, and today I want to look at Genesis chapter 1 verse 3, it says then God said let there be light and there was light. We understand that God's word had power to create, all God needed to do was to say let there be light and there was light. Uh, and today as we mm, think of the kind of world that we live in, we might imagine that you know, we would need uh, huge tools and equipment to create um, things around us. And especially you know, when you're looking at um, some sort of a road construction, there you have uh, huge equipment standing there on the road, bulldozers and um, you know different things that really help them construct that road but as you look at what God used to put the universe in place the world in place you notice he just did it with his words and he said let there be light and there was light and so creation um, uh, happened by the words of God and, and that's what the Bible tells us um, so we recognize that there is something in the words of God's mouth and that is authority. There is authority, there is power to create and that is how the world came into being. Now that is creation. Now let's just look at Hebrews chapter 1 and verse 3. It says about Jesus, who being the brightness of his glory and the express image of his person and upholding all things by the word of his power. When he had by himself purged our sins, sat down at the right hand of the majesty on high. So we see that God is upholding all things by the word of his power. So again, God put everything um, in motion through his words. Now we learn that he is sustaining everything. So, you know, this word, this scripture says, upholding all things by the word of his power. So God is also sustaining everything by the um, word of his power. And that again shows us that there is authority in God's word. There is power in God's word. So God's word is able to create. God's word is able to sustain. And for us as believers, you know, we recognize um, not just believers, even human beings made in the image of God, our words carry authority um, and what God really wanted to do through the authority that he gave us is to establish his dominion. So let us use our words to establish the kingdom of God and especially as believers, let us use our words to release the victory of the cross. Let's use our words to release um, hope, joy, peace, righteousness and as we do that, the kingdom of uh, the enemy will be defeated and the kingdom of God will be established in every area of our life. So use the words uh, with understanding, speak life, speak the word of God. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you for the authority and the power and the words of our tongue. Lord, we pray that Lord, as we speak those words by faith, Lord, um, that Lord, the, the kingdom of light will expand and Lord the enemy and uh, the enemy's kingdom will be put to shame Lord. Thank you once again for the victory of the cross. In Jesus name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.